Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the brand new DS220J and I want to compare it against the older, and I say older, two years older, DS218J to see which one deserves your data. So the brand new DS220J is coming. It's a brand new two-bay cost-effective NAS solution from the guys at Synology. It serves as a much more cost-effective and affordable way for people to get an entry point into the world of Synology NAS. And everything DSM and its client apps and NAS apps, graphical user interface via web browser apps and mobile apps and more can be utilized by you and your devices and back up your data. But this is not the first J-series NAS that we've ever seen. In fact, this is probably like the 7th or 8th 2-bay. I mean, they, they date back quite a few years with a new 2-bay J-series NAS arriving every year and a half to two years. This has probably been the longest hiatus so far with the original DS218J being released um, somewhere in 2017, I believe. So this has been quite a long time coming here at the start of 2020. And has the wait been long enough? Have we seen enough innovation in the hardware? Well, short answer is yes. There's been a lot of things that have been revisited in the DS220J that make it more interesting. Now I say a lot of things, let's be frank about this. It's one thing. One th one thing has been revisited in the case of the Synology DS220J, and that, if the specs aren't already on the screen, is the CPU. Both of these devices arrive with exactly the same chassis, the plastic white chassis that's no hot swapping, so it's a slide open device that can have two hard drives installed inside, supporting the very latest um, hard drives such as the 16TB Seagate Iron Wolf series of drives, and of course WD Red 2 and their 12 and 14TB series of NAS drives. Now, both of these devices arrive with that chassis because it's designed to have as little impact on your environment as possible and to be as cost effective as possible. The 218J and the DS220J are not exactly formidable devices. They are definitely great as entry points or as network backups to an existing network interface um, or NAS um, optimized environment. But it's in that CPU that we see some interesting stuff because the older generation device arrived with a dual-core Marvel CPU that was fantastically underwhelming. I believe it was a dual-core 1.3 gigahertz processor, and that CPU, or it might have even been the 800 megahertz at launch. On top of that, it arrived with half a gig of DDR3 memory. The new NAS arrives with a quad-core Realtek-based CPU, the RTD1296, a quad-core 1.4 gigahertz ARM 64-bit processor. That means it is not only better in every way than its predecessor in the 218J, it is almost double and more in some places in every single way. It means that the CPU in this new device has clearly been chosen because of the change in the way we use our data and the applications we want to use. And with that improved CPU, that CPU actually enables a great many things, which, because it's been featured in a few other um, 2018 and 19 devices, we know quite a lot about already. I mean, in the case of the 218J, when it arrived, it was clearly one of the weakest of the entire pack of disk station NASs when they were announced in 2017 and 18. But this CPU has been featured in some of their mid-range devices, the Realtek um, RTD1296, which is technically 4K transcoding enabled, but we are going to have to revisit that point in a second, um, has featured on the likes of the DS118, the DS218, the DS418, and the DS218 Play. And that's quite an interesting point, because although this video is about comparing the DS218 J versus the 220J, it's actually more appropriate to compare it against that play. And I will make a video specifically about that after this. It's going to be much shorter. Now, the reason I keep adding a caveat every nine or 10 seconds is because although that CPU is an enormous leap over its predecessor, the memory has not changed because, as I'm sure you've already seen on screen, the 220J arrives with half a gig of DDR4 memory. So firstly, yay, DDR4, higher frequency, more efficient, fantastic, but still only half a gig. That is going to serve as quite the most tremendous bottleneck. And although these devices are the same in loads of other ways, both featuring USB 3.0, both featuring a single 
RJ45 1 gigabit LAN port, both featuring the same CPU and weighing practically the same. I think there's 10 grams difference between them. There's still no avoiding that them both having the same memory is a real punch to the gut. Because to have that CPU and all of its abilities, better efficiency in PowerPoint, and the ARM 64-bit processor doing a much better job of refining instruction given via the CPU and making things get done with a lot less system resources, memory will always be incredibly important in any technological appliance, and NASes are no exception. Not having more than half a gig of memory that's non-upgradable, I might add, is not great. Because it means that even though you've got a CPU that can do more, it can, you know, as I mentioned, that CPU has the capability to transcode 4K, it's not going to be able to do that with half a gig of memory. Although this CPU has featured alongside the, uh, utilizing the file system BTRFS, I don't believe it's going to be able to do it with half a gig of memory. Even in the camera stakes, this CPU has been shown to support 15 to 20 cameras in some places, but their official specs don't go higher than 12. Having half a gig of memory, of DDR4 memory, don't get me wrong, obviously the DS220J is the winner of these two NASes. I don't care what you think. I know I normally don't say in these videos that I'm going to tell you one is better than the other, and I'll give you all the information, and then it's up to you to decide which best suits your data. But on this occasion, I will tell you, the DS220J is definitely better it's inarguably better even if the price is 10 15 percent more in in cost it's still going to be a better nas but just because it's better than a two and a bit year old nas it doesn't make it supreme and that's the important point about this video because they will support the likes of you know it's got synology hybrid raid with its fluid raid system where you can mix and match bigger and better drives it arrives with support of synology moments synology drive synology office synology mail surveillance station and loads of other dsm appliances with dsm arriving in 6.2 but there's no avoiding that bottleneck created by that memory kind of feels done on purpose to keep it within the family tree because once you look at another j series released for the 20s and the ds 420 j that arrives with this same cpu it's four bay but one gig of memory so it does feel intentional that they've kind of put that half a gig of memory and i think even though the 220j is clearly the better device it's not the better device in the long run and i do think this device if you're looking for an economy now, so right now, this is probably one of the best, most affordable two-base solutions that Synology have put out for a very, very long time, but it could be so much better. So bear that in mind when comparing these two devices, because though the specifications seem remarkably similar, but with a great CPU, they have seemingly throttled it a little bit. And if you are someone that's going to be utilising this NAS, you know, across a family with many people accessing it at once, or you want to take advantage of 4K, which that CPU can technically support, technically, then then this might well be the NAS for you, and definitely trounces that after 218J. How about another question? What if you already own the DS218J and you bought it at launch? Both of these devices arrive with two years of manufacturer's warranty, so should you now your NAS is out of warranty if you bought it when it was first uh, uh, released, the 218J, should you now jump ship? No, I don't think you should because the DS220J is a big step in the CPU, but in every other regard, it's a very similar NAS, and I don't think it's a viable upgrade. If you are looking to upgrade your DS218J, aim a little higher. Go for the 218 Plus, which I'm sure is going to be a great price right now, or hold out for that Synology DS220 Plus. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you in some small way. And if it has, click like. If you want to learn more about the new NASs as they get announced, go and pop a uh, pop button. Uh, click the subscribe button, I should say. And of course, I'll see you next time.